So why is creation the illusion? What is meant when it said creation is, is anxiously waiting for the revealing of the sons of God? Yeah. When, when you live on a battleground, it's not fun. Creation was subjected to our ignorance. We became people, we became humans, we became separate, individual, distinct beings in our mind instead of realizing that we are one spirit rising in different forms and different manifestations. And in that distinction and in that rise of our own person, not a role, not not uh, not just the rising of essence, but this is me. There is no you in me. David is, is just the name of this form that you fill. But if you believe that you're David, you've missed who you are. This is the reason why the, the truest sense when the one of the ways that you know that awakening is happening is the more you have let go of your beliefs the the less beliefs you have how do you know it's a belief when somebody says ah that's not true and no longer bothers you if it's a belief it always bother you We, as I, I love it when, when Jesus came to me and, and said, stop saying I think and I believe. He said, I never said that. I always said, I tell you the truth. <laughs> he didn't say, I, I think the truth will set you free. I think, or I, I believe. He said, I tell you the truth. And he said, you stop speaking about me and start speaking as me. So stop saying I believe and that and I think. And, and so now, as much time later, anytime I hear I believe or I think come out of my mouth, immediate hesitation <laughs> jumps in. Uh, who is this saying that I believe and I think? Who, what, who is this one saying this? What is happening? This is one that's got caught up in the playground. <laughs> He's gotten too caught up in the playground. He's labeling himself. He probably thinks he probably think I'm Silas all of a sudden. funny because I've been I've been busy you know with work and travel or whatever but not really engaged in very much in um, amongst that busy so there's sort of been the space there I feel like I've just been observing a space that's waiting to create that's wanting to create um, and I found my mind kind of wanting uh, yeah wanting to create and uh, sort of bring it back. And, uh. Creation's so much fun. <clears throat> it's a lot of fun. The thing is, it effortlessly happens. It doesn't... My... The more you realize who you are, the more that effortlessly is taking place. And Did you hear when we were, oh, we were talking about Fool's Land? 
fool's land. No. <laughs> I want to create a world uh, where like you walk through like a tunnel or a doorway and you enter into this room where there's costumes and makeups and, and, and face paint and you can be whatever you want to be in this room play whatever role you want to play and then you walk through and and it's just like you don't you, you walk into this this world and it seems like you're in wonderland you know there be a bed in the middle of the water somebody sleeping on the bed and people playing different roles and games of people uh, uh, Ewok land you know where there's just uh, tree houses and, and rope swings and, and bridges from one tree house to the other and and people dressed as Ewoks and uh, you know just but just creative where the mind can go crazy nothing's impossible you can create whatever you want do whatever you want it can be as outlandish and as colorful and it's just fun and beautiful and a place where people can come and really tap into that creative potential but they realize that <clears throat> and place music and whatever whatever create whatever art art is whatever is being expressed really art is the the whatever is really being expressed and this can be art and uh I well, I was t talking to Austin about that because my on the one hand, I people that don't know me think I'm very you know they just watch YouTube or whatever think oftentimes think I'm really serious. Do you guys that know me know that I'm yes, there are lots of things that are very serious to me. You know, I'm if if you're gonna be serious, be serious about awakening. But the rest of the, the, everything on this playground is not serious to me it's just fun it's the exact opposite of serious to me it's just a lot of fun and even the things that I'm serious about awakening and the realization of who I am and teaching and sharing those things that are effort, effortlessly rising out of me even those things are fun to me it's still, it's still play it's still fun um, I mean to consider that right now I'm I'm playing a, a role in that uh, we're sitting out here and I am teaching myself. I'm sitting in the teacher's chair and then I jump over into the other chair and now I'm David. I'm listening and I'm being the student. As if I'm a three-year-old jumping back and forth from chairs. I'm the teacher. But I need other people to play along so I jump into the student's chair. And, well, excuse me, teacher, what about this question? And so I jump back into the teacher's chair. The only difference is that the I've taken on three different forms there. You're playing the same game I'm playing right now. The creative potential is so beautiful. The reason why I'm so serious about awakening and the realization of who we truly are beyond the concept, beyond the form is because that opens us up to really be able to create and play but that it's that creation and that play and that min that is not a mental striving nor is it in competition any longer with who I am but it's effortlessly rising out of that place the vast majority of what people are creating today is coming out of mental strife typically for profit and part two of that is it is always in competition. That's why they think of themselves as, well, I gotta make time for spirit. You know, I need to stay so I go to church or I go to synagogue or I go to mosque or I go to temple. And I, I take these times to really feed my spirit so that I can work out there, get refreshed, so I can go back out to work and make this money and do these things that I'm doing. But there's always this competition between spirit and their actual life. And so they even talk about things. If you read the shallow books that are now bestsellers, they often talk about a spiritual life. Their spiritual life. Well, I don't. I, I have a rich spiritual life. Who? What the kind of fool are you to think that you have a spiritual life, and then you have a, uh, a, a, you know, the rest of your life, and then you have a business life, and you have you're trying to compartmentalize and separate all of these different manifestations of the same thing. Because you haven't yet realized who you are. And it's so silly.
when you realize who you are, now you're just playing. Here is just play. And yes, again, there are very serious moments along the way, but even them are fun. They're beautiful. Sometimes the most fun moments are the serious ones. Sometimes the the most uh, intimate moments are the serious ones. They're not just fun. You know, if I'm if I'm with a uh, if I'm with someone and I'm pouring really pouring myself into them, well, let me for instance, I can go to I go to a strip club and I'm having a lot of fun, and just being silly and having fun, but when that intimate moment happens. This is not about me having fun anymore. This is a serious moment. And that's the best one of all. It was, to me, that's way better than all of the fun goofing around, laughing, kidding around moments that I had for the hours prior to this, this one moment. You understand? So, yeah, well, it's still, still, uh, it's a serious moment when I look into my own eyes and I call me forth. Because now this manifestation is not miserable, can rise beyond the misery that they've been living in. And they can have fun and play too. creation is eagerly anticipating the revealing of the sons of God because it's been trapped in battle battle zone it's been trapped in imagine living where there's war happening all the time no fun it's uh, eagerly anticipating the playground again those that are just playing I realize their place, the divine that is simply playing in the avatar. And having fun, enjoying it, creating within it. And love, and peace, and harmony, and joy. Not because we can be found in concept, but uh, quite the opposite, because we have risen beyond it. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. Give us a thumbs up, comment, thoughts, questions in the section below. Let us know what you want to hear from us. Subscribe to our channel for more life-changing content. And as always, check the section below for our website, for live events, where we'll be, what we're up to, more about us, and our online school website is listed below as well. We love you. We're glad you're here. We want to hear from you. We're in this with you.